How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to get ripped with only one hour of strength training per week. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. Thanks a lot. Yes, yeah, so I was out on another morning walk as usual and I figured I'd make a video because I was thinking about this um, and it's the, it's the fact that I'm only strength training for about either 10 minutes a day, six days a week, or sometimes I do 20 minutes a day every other day. So really, that's all it takes to get, you know, a nice lean ripped body. Now, I know that I'm not, you know, I'm not real big and, and huge and muscular. Um, you know, I don't lift big, huge, super heavy weights. That's really not my goal. So my ideal look is more of a lean, fit, shredded, ripped look, which, um, you know, I'm very happy with, with the way I look. And, um, you know, really, there's just a few simple things you need to do, but as far as strength training, you really only need to do it for maybe 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes every other day. Um, you, there's no need to spend hours in the gym and wa you know waste a whole bunch of time. I'd rather be outside in nature anyway. So I just thought I'd mention that, yeah, my, my strength training routine is just, um, right now I'm doing 20 minutes uh, three days a week. Sometimes I do 10 minutes um, you know, every day, maybe six days a week. But um, right, right now my routine is I'm doing just 20 minutes every other day about, and then um, on the other, the other day than that, I do hot yoga. So as far as strength training goes, that's all it takes. Now, if you really wanna, you know, if you need to lose weight and, and you know, you wanna get in shape and, and stay in shape and all that, um, again, there's intermittent fasting, you gotta include that, incorporate that. That's gonna be the best way uh, also to lose fat. Down to one meal a day, um, which is what I recommend to everyone now. Especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, you're going to have to eat one meal a day, keep it in a tight window, and keep the calories tight. So um, that's my recommendation. So here's one of the workouts I did uh, recently, and I uh, hope you like it. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. All right, so I like to do movements that have multiple muscle groups. So I go about 90% of failure when I do a set. And there's modifications for all these moves. So like this right here, are, these are chin-ups with a crunch. Now, if you can't do those, you can just do regular chin-ups. And if you can't do chin-ups, you can get a band, a like a pull-up band to stand on. And that helps, um, helps uh, make it easier and support some of your weight. And I, um, I like to do a pull, a push, then a leg, and then a core move. So you see most of my workouts kind of go in that order. Pull, push, leg, and core. And... Um, the multiple muscle groups really makes it so you work your whole body. And um, that's really the way I like to do it. So I started off with a set of these, these chin-ups with a crunch. And then I rested about a minute and a half. And then I went to these plank push-ups. So this is um, a more advanced version of a push-up. You're really working your whole core, your chest, your arms. Just working all kinds of muscles on these uh, plank push-ups. This is one of my favorite moves. You just go down, you walk backwards like in a plank, you walk forward and you push up. So if you can't do these, just do regular push-ups. And if you can't do regular push-ups, start off with push-ups on your knees. So there's always um, you know, a way to modify and you can work through these. And, and eventually, once you, you know, lose the weight and you get stronger, you can work your way up to these uh, plank push-ups. So I did the, the pull move. This is my push move for the day. Now I'm going to do these basically four moves and then just repeat again. If you're doing uh, every other day, I would just do each of these twice. If you're doing uh, one workout a day, so like a 10-minute workout, then I just run through these once. That's all I would do. All right, so then I did uh, these machine. These are squats using a machine, which uh, I prefer to do. But you could obviously do squats with uh, free weights. So um, this was my leg move for the day, these squats. And again, this right now I'm doing a routine where I'm, I'm uh, strength training three days a week. So I'll run through these moves and then I'll, I'll do them a second time. Sometimes if I'm strength training every day, I'll just go through each move once. And this allows me to just get, you know, activate the muscles, get them going, but... Um, I usually go to, like I said, about 90%. And that seems to work well for me. And, um, you know, as again, you can see, I'm not, I'm not big, huge, like super muscles or anything like that. But I just like to keep lean, keep toned and ripped. And that's, that's the type of body that I like to go for. 
All right, so my last move of, the, of this workout were these windshield wipers. So this is a little more of an advanced move. Um, there's probably gonna be a lot of people that can't do these, but if you can, go for it. If not, you could just, the way to modify is just lay on your back on the ground and keep your legs really straight and go really slow. If you're doing them on the ground, you go really slow back and forth. So that was the workout. I just repeated that. Um, so it was eight sets. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.